Without forgetting for a moment the darker side of Wagnerism, I believe we should stop letting Adolf Hitler rather than Baudelaire or Willa Cather or Herzl dictate our response to Wagner. To see all the horrors of the 20th century emanating from one all too human artist, that's a fairy tale, a rather dangerous fairy tale, one that ill prepares us for the next nightmare. What are some of the horrors that confront us nearly 200 years after Wagner's birth? The ruination of nature, drastic inequalities between those on high and those down below, the concentration of power and wealth in the hands of a few. The ring cycle, Wagner's most awesome achievement, speaks to those injustices with undiminished force. In Wagner's life, in his work, and in his legacy, we see before us both the highest and the lowest impulses of mankind. We see both the triumph of art over reality and the triumph of reality over art. We see a tragedy of human flaws set so deep that after two centuries, they still infuriate us as if the man were in the room. Never again will we be able to idealize Wagner completely. The ugliness of his political views and their aftermath means that our picture of him will always be broken, damaged. Yet the everlasting ambivalence about Wagner makes us more honest about the role that art plays in the world. In his vicinity, we cannot cling to fantasies of the pure, autonomous work of art. We cannot forget how art unfolds in real time through history. Wagner is liberated from the mystification of great art. He becomes something more radical and mutable and unsettlingly alive. So it goes with all art that endures. It is never a matter of beauty proving eternal. In the case of Wagner, we are looking into a great magnifying mirror of the soul of the human species. What we hate in it, we hate in ourselves. What we love in it, we love in ourselves also. In the distance, we may catch glimpses of some other world, some glimmering castle or temple, some ecstasy of knowledge. But in the end, it is only a trick of theater. Soon enough, the vision recedes and the curtain falls.